Roswell flight test crew, here again with our friends at Aerial Technology International. They were kind enough to let us play with one of their brand new toys, the DJI Phantom 2 Vision. Thanks guys. So normally right now we do an unboxing, but it looks like someone kind of beat us to it. So we took all the parts, laid them out here, and we'll go over them and see what we got. When you get into the box, it doesn't quite look like this. You'll have to attach the camera and the landing gear. So here's the radio. Now, already attached is a clip for your cell phone and a wireless access point. Now when you get this, you'll have to attach these to the little bar in the back here. Let's move on to the propellers. Now, this is a unique feature I haven't seen previously. You've got silver and black. Now, these are unique. You've got little black dots here and here, silver here and here, and they just screw on. There's no, there's nothing required. You just, that's it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and mount the rest of the propellers. Now that was too easy. Let's look at everything else in the box. So first we have our battery. Now, it's, a little different, it looks like a drill battery almost. It's got a little indicator at the bottom, it shows your charge state. It's also the power button for the unit. And here we have extra little anti-vibration grommets. And we have our power cord, international power adapters, uh, USB cable for programming. The USB cables also use the charge of the wireless access point. And our charger, the battery just plugs into here. And this is great because for beginners, it's got no balance port to worry about, no special charging leads, no wires for that matter. You just plug it in and go. Now what differentiates the, the Vision from the original Phantom is the camera, which can send video live from the aircraft to your iOS or Android device. Now for this setup, we want to detach the propellers for safety. The next step is to download the DJI Vision app to your device. Go to the App Store and do a search for DJI Vision and install the app. For the next part here, we have to power up the entire system. So first, we're going to take your fully charged battery and slide it in the back of the aircraft, much like you would the uh, magazine of your M41A pulse rifle. Next, we have to turn on the little access point here. Turn the radio on, and to turn the aircraft on, little button here, same thing you check the battery with, you tap, press, and we're on. Next step is we have to associate with the access point. Okay, so we pull up our networks, and here we have two that say Phantom. The reason there are two access points listed on your phone is there's one built onto the aircraft, and a second one here, which is a high power relay. It transmits the signal from your cell phone a lot farther than your phone could normally transmit for video and control. The number here, the SSID, is actually written on the bottom of the access point. So choose the corresponding number. In our case, it's this one here. Give it a couple seconds. It's, it's a non-secure network. We're associated. Now, let's go launch the application. And at the top here, it should be the same number. The green light means you're good to go. Okay, so we mounted the props back on. Let's take it out and go flying. So we're out here in the field. I want to go flying. Now the first thing to look at is the radio here. Now, I was looking at it and both sticks do this. If you're used to RC flying with a regular radio, this is a bit weird. Uh, both sticks return to center, but that's the way this aircraft flies though. Basically at mid stick, it doesn't go up or down. So down, up, and then this is of course yaw and pitch and roll, so it's a mode two. So this is the kind of radio we're used to. Uh, mode two, the throttle stays where you put it. So returning to center is a bit unusual for us. Before we go flying, we have to calibrate the GPS compass module on board the aircraft. That still functions like return to home will work correctly. This is a two person job. The person who's gonna be holding the aircraft takes any metal objects off their person like wallet, cell phone, keys, and then they stand away from metal objects. Then the other person flips this switch six to 10 times. When the aircraft enters calibration mode, the lights on the aircraft will turn yellow. The person holding the aircraft then rotates it through 360 degrees, doing their best to keep it stationary. Then the lights will turn green. 
They rotate the aircraft perpendicular to the ground and rotate through 360 degrees again. When the lights go back to their regular pattern, you're calibrated. Okay, so before we play with the camera, I want to check and see how it flies first. And uh, the Army sequence is exactly the same as the previous DJI products, so... The aircraft is armed. To disarm the aircraft, exact same thing. And flying the aircraft is actually flies quite nicely. We've got a bit of a wind right now, and it's uh, handling it pretty good. Uh, you can tell it's a bit heavier. That big battery weighs it down a bit. So when you're descending, you have to give a little bit more throttle to pull out of that descent. But other than that, it flies really well. Okay, now let's take a look at how the camera and the app work while you're flying. Now make sure you've installed your SD card in the back and you flip the little switch to Wi-Fi. I've got the app installed and going on my phone and I clip it in. Here's a camera tilt with gyro or just press up and down to tilt the camera from down. This right here is a little map of your distance. Here you can take a photograph or video. And of course you can play back and the configuration options for resolution, ISO settings. Okay, I'm going to start recording and go flying. You know, the little screen here actually works pretty good for FPV. You can certainly fly it this way. There's a little bit of latency, but um, Although I don't know what would happen if you got out of range, that would be very bad, you might lose your signal completely, but well, I'd say it's certainly certainly doable. So on the screen here we have the radar, it shows me as the H in the middle, of course, and the little landing pad there, and the little uh, indicator shows the aircraft direction, how far it is away, altitude, speed, it's really neat actually to have that information on screen like this. One thing I forgot to mention was the battery life. It's, it's extraordinary. We're 20 minutes on a single charge. And finally, we want to thank our friends over at Aerial Technology International for allowing us to play with their Phantom 2 Vision. If you're interested in picking one up for yourself or maybe a more sophisticated aero camera platform, check them out on the web. Hope you're watching. See you next time. All right, fly safe. <laughs>